All right. Okay, sorry for the audio issues. Welcome to uh, our week six regular season match against Westminster. Okay, sorry for the audio issues. Oh, yeah. And that's some feedback there. Um, all right, so Christian Wright just won game one against John Faustmain. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. And that was a Ridley versus Jigglypuff matchup. Uh, Christian is a senior. Uh, this is his first season uh, with Smash Brothers. Alright, looks like we are playing on Smashville. Uh, if you're not aware, there is a process for uh, striking stages and selecting stages, uh, and it looks like we ha the opponent has selected Smashville. Both players staying Jigglypuff and Ridley, and let's go. Jigglypuff is dead. Uh, Jigglypuff is a heavily um, aerial focused um, character. She gets lots of jumps, as does Ridley. Um, she wants to maintain uh, correct spacing. She wants to use her really, really good horizontal uh, air movement to space her opponents out. Uh, Ridley is a little similar uh, with a lot more power. Uh, she has so many jumps she can do that, and she can go under the stage. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with Smash Brothers, uh, this is a fighting game, and we have uh, we have lives or stocks. And normally, with a fighting game or most games, you have a health bar that gets whittled down as you take damage. In this game, your percentage goes up instead of your bar going down. And the more damage you take, that happens. You lose a stock. Uh, Christian Wright with the up smash to take that stock from Jigglypuff and Jigglypuff able to return the favor to Ridley. That shield looking mighty low for Christian Wright. Trying for the command grab, not working out, getting him with a back air. Trying to read the roll. Another back air. Hoping to get some chip damage with the fireball. Trying for that same trick where he's uh, up B's into the ledge to meteor smash Jigglypuff. And there we go. That's game two. So the way that our matches work, we uh, in the regular season we have up to nine points to gain uh, from our, a match against an opponent. Uh, and each player will play three games, so they have up to three points they can win. Christian Wright just won uh, his second point, and he's going to play one more. Hopefully we can take all three, uh, and then uh, our next player, uh, BJ Ingram, will play against the, another uh, athlete from Westminster. That is our opponent this week is uh, Westminster Schools. They are uh, ranked number one in the state of Georgia.
I was wrong about that. We actually have uh, Tolu uh, uh, after this match. But let's focus on this one. Uh, we have a character change. All right, so we do have a character change. Uh, we have Min Min uh, on the Westminster side. Uh, Min Min is going to try to um, stay far away from Ridley with those very, very long arms. That is her entire uh, game plan. And Ridley's going to try to get up in her face. And he's doing a pretty good job. And she's dead. First stock goes to Christian on the Ridley. <laughs> My players commented that I commentate like I'm watching golf. Uh, I find both relaxing, so that's a good comparison. Um, all right, so uh, perfect parry. Nice follow-up with the down grab. Taking a lot of damage. He's got to be a little careful, especially with that uh, wrecking ball arm out. And that might be death. There we go. So, oops. And we are, we need to switch those. We do have Christian on the left and uh, John on the right. Okay. All right, so that was Christian Wright with a 3-0 against uh, John Faustman from Westminster. Uh, Fay County leads with a 3-0 uh, point lead. Uh, and uh, next we have BJ's up or you're up? Okay. All right. We have BJ Ingram uh, up against who? Is it Cody Cody Wang? Right. Uh, no. As long as the matchups are right, we're good. Uh, I thought. Yeah, you were you were supposed to play John. Yeah. It doesn't. The order doesn't matter. It's just. So we do have BJ Ingram against Cody Wang. Let me put those names up for us. Again, apologies for the lack of game audio. We ran into some issues, but we still wanted to broadcast the match.
always important, the choice of music for the stage. You want to? Excellent. Okay, we're going to get Christian Wright on some commentary. Uh, uh, Yeah, we got Captain Falcon here. Oh wow, this is a this is probably a pretty nice mic, I'd reckon. All right, so the sides aren't matched up, but just just know that Ness is on the side of FCHS, and I think he should just religiously camp here. Honestly, Falcon does not deserve to play the game. No, <laughs> but nothing's really happening yet. With, I can't really fill the gap there. Nice dash attack creating the opening. Always, always trying to catch the air dodge as well, but Ness is trying to fight back here. Not, they're just kind of dancing around each other here. Uh, I wish there was more like, well, yeah, stuff like that. Just hits, commitment. Like, I, it might not be feasible in this type of connection, but I think it, it makes the match more interesting. Good Tomahawk coming out. You can show that they're an experienced player. And PK Fire's coming out from Ness, really playing the matchup here. Avoiding the F smash, he air dodges in. Does not get detected. Almost gets stomped, does not opt for the grab. But he is getting these outer shields. A solid, what, 30% down Falcon is. Well, now it's evened up, actually. Ness looking to avoid the spike here. But they miss entirely. Gets, gets a dash grab. It look, it's looking like pretty grim, honestly. Whiffs the back air. Gets hit by the high up B is going to be in disadvantage. Does he catch the landing? No, but he does catch the up B. Is that going to kill? No, it's not. He does not opt to punish that and instead opts to roll. Understandable, but there is going to take it. Now, a reminder here is that FCHS is up 3-0. If we do take two games, that means 5-0. That means we're set. A back throw from Ness will kill along with dash attack. But I don't think Ness typically should fish for it, because he might die here. Those up is dangerous for Ness. Falcon just weaves in and out of the air. Could have gone for a back air, but Nair's going to do it, and Fair's going to be the edge guard, and Ness just makes it safely back to stage. 53% is not that much of a lead versus Ness. You can really rack up that damage, as we're seeing right here, up to 42 a few out shield options and we're already almost in the lead 52 to 53 61 and that's just the beauty of Ness right there really can extend his advantage state Falcon looking confused on what to do just kind of dashing around but he, well he must know how something works seeing as the top team in the state not looking for the stomp move add the eye opting to catch the landing really catch the nice nice gimp from Ness Covering Falcon's recovery, but does not have a hitbox that hits above stage. Early PK fire, not waiting for invincibility, but that works. Goes for the raw knee, misses, and that's a high up B that's not going to get punished. He could get edge guarded here, let's see it. Falcon missing the down air again, those commitments are really killing him here. Though up B is going to catch. That's ledger grab, he doesn't catch it, but Ness does not tech either. Ness makes it back to three easily, but he went high, and that's going to be the stock. Even game right here, eight to nine, but Ness can really rack up that damage compared to Falcon. But I think Falcon's looking for a grab here, if we're going to be honest, because that's what that's what Falcon does really. He's looking for a lot of tomahawks where he can get like a down throw nair, like up air, up air, down throw. Just down throw up air fair is going to be just the stock in there, and there's the grab. He looks for the knee, it's not going to work out. Ness failing to keep him on ledge and resetting back to neutral. Fair clipping, but not going to kill him in disadvantage. Stomp not going to work out. Ness, <laughs> uh, Ness uh, maintaining advantage state here. Alright, this is back throw. Falcon's in a bad spot off stage. That almost gimps him, but it's not going to be enough. He goes for raw knee and gets hit for it. Up air, is that going to kill? Not yet. Tries He tries to go for the up B forward. It's not going to land. Does not opt for yo-yo, but back throw will solidly kill soon.
actually many of Messi's aerials will kill right now. Nair is going to do it. And that is 4-0 for SCHS. And also Cannon. I'm going to mess with your overlay a little bit, Cannon. the score at the top here. It's going to be in black so this is visible during matches. We're staying as Ness. We might be changing skins. Uh, right now I don't have access to stage fan so we will see. Yeah, you ban too. SCHS banning Town City and Smashville. That's interesting bans. On Town City, Saucing can really, he can actually get combos into Nair, which will kill off the side compared to something like FD, where he may not be able to approach. We'll see where uh, Western Mystery is going to take him. going to Yoshi's, which is near the top, actually. Uh, second from the left, you see it. On Yoshi's story, very volatile map. You really narrow side blast range, and well, characters like Mario can kill off the top very easily, and Ness up there might do it as well. And here we go, going into match five. Or round five, rather, which is round two of match two. Raptors are just not going to make it, evening up the per percent right now. Another 2k fire. Yoshi the grab is SDIing out there. He's looking for these spares in neutral and they're not really landing, but there's not much Falcon can do about it. Yoshi's really just zoning him out right now with these aerials. And up air is going to do it. He's not opting for up, he's just looking to catch the landing. He can't, but he's still not disadvantaged yet. Looking for the dash attack and the back air to get. He makes it through. Looking for some type of freestyle combo there to do up air into down air, but not going to work. Looking for the punishing in 2k fire. It's not going to work out either. But right now, this is prime Ness kill for him. Most aerial TBs will kill. If Falcon messes up right now, it's a back throw from Mesa. But really, if you, do, if you don't need to approach, there's no reason to. Not opting for down throw knee, that was the perfect angle. Up air not going to kill, because Yoshi's, it, despite its combo potential, is pretty large off the top. 2k fire going to catch the back air. And he can, the back air is going to get Falcon, he cannot make it back. So it's a solid stock lead in what could be our, well, not final, but could be the winning match of the set. The Falcon player is not opting to, well, I guess I should say Cody. Cody is not opting to go off stage for edge guards, but rather only wants the down air lip, which on a stage like Yoshi's could be very hard to get, especially in the conditions we're playing in. But a Falcon kick will give us that. He's looking for the jump sweep from the up airs, but he just sits in shield. for the dash grab, not going to work out. 2k fire is not going to land either. Is he looking for the knee? He is not. He's looking for another down air. He whips it. Does he tech? He does tech. Ness trying to ledge trap, but throwing out a few wild options. He does catch that back throw off stage. How will he handle it? This 
not punishable ending on stage, but for now he's still in the lead. And Mayor will put him right back off stage where he can fall in and his Falcon Bear dodges. Back air not gonna land. It's looking pretty even if he can get this edge guard. But he's looking like not. Falcon kick not gonna do it. Both players at a very feasible kill percent here. Backdoor finesse or mini aerial from Falcon could still it. Uh, that's Falcon without jump off stage. How will he handle it? Cannot get the grab there. Up air might do it. Not yet. He's going to look for it again. And back to the game. Falcon trying to down air. Up B out of shield not hitting. Nair is going to do it. And that's another stock for Yuki Zen here. Narrowly avoiding the Falcon kill. Getting desperate for kill options, Falcon takes that with the back air. We're looking at potentially what could be the last stock for Wesley in this. Uh, Ram is on F smash. We'll see what Yuki is about to do here. Ness struggling to find an opening right now. Falcon is just all over him. So peak of fire is going to even it up where you can get a few bear strings, but it's not going to work out. Tries to go for a nair out of shield, also not working. Both players are desperate here. They're playing very non-committal, just looking for anything to hit. Dash attack not going to land. Falcon looking for those upbeats, has a very large range. That stomp almost did it, he's looking for it again. Goes high and that should be the stock. Yep. And that makes it one four. And moving on to game three of match two. observation that uh, this might mess up my hair later I think it's gonna be I think there already is just an imprint of where the headset's been so either way it's in the pursuit of whatever Pfizer's play versus has in store for us this is the fight over the top seed uh, whoever wins this match will be top seed in playoffs Banning FD in small battlefields, we'll see what Yu-Gi-Oh wants to go. And we are going to PS2. Well, that means the stage to end it on. This will be the last match of Cody versus DJ. And then after this, we will have Tolu versus someone. Or Tolu versus Lawrence Marks, who has a Wadi profile picture. Not much can be said that hasn't already been said about Leaf Force. They're just, honestly, I don't think there's any method of madness to it. They're just really going for it. If it hits, it hits. Speaking of hitting, Ness just does it better. Not going to try and catch the landing, but does catch the jump. Catching the air dodge as well. Catching the neutral get up. Is he going to fair again? And again? And that's gonna That might get Falcon if he did the up smash instead. But he got close. Early docking F smash from Falcon off stage. Does he go off for the edge guard? He just he does, but he misses. The fair gonna put him right back in the other side of the stage. How is Ness gonna handle Falcon's first option? Dash attack misses, but the grab is misinputted, unfortunately. Another dash attack hitting Ness here. Up smash almost hitting. That would have been the stock, but fair is going to catch his landing. Up B not going to get. He does jump from ledge. 
you know, melee that'd be called turn the winner, but it's a viable option in this game, actually, because there's not much lag on it, especially how how good aerials are. Ba late bear is not going to do it. One back throw is going to be the spot. Now, Ness, Ness cannot just, like, go for back airs, especially in this game where he can just get hit, but up air will do it. Because if you just, like, run up and grab, you're obviously just going to get poked for it. A assuming assuming the opponent notices that there is an angle. Because anyone, like, that's inexperienced with certain characters, like, won't know how to counterplay. For example, when he's about to do that right there, he goes for the back air, not knowing that Ness is about to DK fire. And for example, right there, Ness is landing around top of Falcon, not knowing his up B is very good. Falcon trying to catch the landing right there is not going to work out. Up B is not going to do it yet, but it's going to do it soon. If he gets hit by that at ledge, that is going to be the stock. Looking for the stomp again. Bear not going to land. The grab, the forward throw will kill. Uh, oh, apparently not. Ness living at 160, but back air is going to do it. Still, 70% 70, 70 extra credit is a very solid lead for Ness. Not much going on. He does get hit by the burst option that dash attack, but he's trying to maintain his lead. Looking for the grab, not going to work out. He does get hit by the Raptor boost. This could be big for Falcon. That was a true knee, but he did risk the confirm. Our stock, not going from Ness yet. Looking for the back air, not it. Stomp being missed again. He's going to keep getting fared for that. Both players desperate for anything, really. Falcon can get a kill off of these edge guards, but he keeps getting DK fired. Not That was very close to hitting the stomp. Which can definitely could have been a good lead for Falcon, but Fair is going to catch it. One more stock for Ness to take to secure first seed for FCHS in the winter playoffs. But can he secure it? Dash attack not going to do it. That was late hit. He keeps looking for the dash attack, but triple jab is also a valid threat. Is he going to go for the down air? He will not. He's catching on to the fares. The dash attack trying to catch it. Good. Ness is being pretty good at shielding those dash attacks. I think that should be a common thing. But he also should try and grab them. Falcon is desperate right now. Up B is high to avoid it. Ness just resetting. Burst options are definitely going to be what kills Ness here. For example, a uh, Falcon kick randomly or a dash attack definitely could do it. But Ness opting to stay his distance, which uh, is the right play here. There's no reason to approach. Bad up B from Falcon being punished by dash attack, but up B is not going to do it yet. Tries to go for a greedy fair. He does not get punished for it. Oh, that's going to be legendary grab, but he does not punish it correctly. Uh, one down tilt would have secured the stock right there, or a down smash. Forward throw might kill. Up throw is going to do it, actually. 53% to 0%. This is a solid lead for Ness, but could get out of hand if he gets grabbed. Uh, the grab trying to come out from Falcon. The nair dash attack, looking for an up air, looking for a landing nair as well. Dash attack. Yo-Yo getting punished. The up smash going to do massive damage. And just like that, Falcon is in the lead. And now Ness doesn't have much room to not approach. If Ness doesn't approach here, he will lose on time. There are three minutes left on the clock. Never make the shots you don't take. Up the from Falcon could do it, but a number of things could Ness could kill Falcon right here. A bit of lag, but we're fine. He's looking for the up B, but he we don't get the punish either. Ness can really zone out Falcon in this matchup, but he has to like not let Falcon get all up on him.
I also need to turn the gain up, and we are back. Tolu with a good lead on Bayonetta. Uh, Banjo has a few kill options here, one being Wonder Wing, which is going to be very comfortable to mash. But with bad DI, this might be the stock. Uh, Bayonetta whiffing the combo. Bayonetta is looking for Witch Time a lot in this matchup, which could be very easily punishable. Wonder Wing going to beat out the down smash there. Now, the one thing Bayo will do is AVK from ledge, or side B for the layman. Uh, down smash. Is he looking for the up tilt? He looks for the F smash again, and that's going to be stock one for Tolu. Sorry about that. Not much going on, but again, as much extra credit as you can get in this matchup is huge. A good 50% can really carry on to the next stock and just really pr will propel a lead. But F Smash is going to catch an up B that's not sweet spotting ledge. He was facing backwards, which could contribute to that. Looking for the nair, but Bats Within is going to pop, and Bayo up B is not going to hit either. Apparently that move is like minus 3. Well actually it's plus 0 on shield, so it's not actually punishable unless you shield. But heal slide is going to hit, and that's going to be a solid 40%. Wonder Wing going to hit on ledge. But the short hop air dodge is also going to beat out up B. Looking for the dash attack, F smash is not going to land from a parry. Good parry from Bayo. Even though we do know it is from the lag. That is very likely not intentional. Despite the lead we had earlier, he is really spiraling out of control with these combos. But one thing I do think Banjo could punish here is the Witch Time, but instead he will get F Smash for looking for that dash attack. Looking for the F Smash again. And uh, one thing I can't say about this match in particular is that you rarely do see Tolu Shield. But it has it has, it seems hasn't been like a working out really. Another thing Banjo can do instead of up smash is up tilt, which will kill, but so will Wonderwing, making it an even game. I say even because, well actually both of these characters can rack up percent fairly quickly, so it's too early to say even. But 61% is a gap that Banjo can close very easily with good zoning. Which time, gonna be in a bad spot and gets punished for it, but only by late, Wonderwing going to punish the F smash. Eggs, uh, ledge trapping, but back air is going to do it. Does get hit by the Wonder Wing. ABK back on the stage. And look, look for the Witch Time, which is going to give him invincibility on the grab, but Wonder Wing is going to hit the landing. Alright, that was a prime opportunity to punish Witch Time, but we're still fine. Alright, he gets the up air. An up tilt might kill next time he gets a down throw. Hmm. Uh, audio's been doubled for so long. Whatever. That fair is not going to do it. It's late hit. If that was strong hit, that might have been the game. Up tilt might do it. it that's going to be it. FCHS officially wins. The next matches are just for, well, I guess extra practice. There's going to be 5-1. We'll see if we can make it larger gap. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but you're our masher. Nice. <laughs> well, yeah, everyone mashes.
we had three viewers at some point, and that's probably when stream just started. All right, we're banning Yoshi's and PS2. We'll see where they try to take us. The, the outcome of the match has already been decided, but we're still trying to see the best score. All right, we are back. No, he picked Min Min game three. Alright, for the next game, we are going to Small Battlefield. I don't think this necessarily benefits either player here, seeing as Ban Banjo is really just pressing buttons, but Bayonetta is doing it more, and that's why they're kind of evenly matched here. You know, I've always said that Masters are somewhat like the Dragon type in Pokemon, where they're super effective against each other, it's just who has better stats. And it's looking like Bayo right now has better stats with the combos she's been getting. The heal slide into up B into ABK is going to do a lot of damage. Could have optimized into a back air, but Nair is also going to do it. But something like a Wonder Wing really just beats out mashing options. So it's really tough to say who could you know, end up winning this. Wonder Wing going to hit late again, perhaps due to the connection. F Smash is going to do it. Alright, so because of the nature of these two players, I think it's better to commentate about the state of the game in general instead of the match. Because it's hard to make up excuses for what some of the players do. For example, I can't, like, it's the same thing with top players. I can't say that every move is calculated. That's simply too much brain power. Like, there's obviously has to be some sort of form of autopilot. Like, a football player doesn't think about every step he takes. It's just natural. And just like him, instead of throwing a football, he mashes right on the C-stick, taking the stock. <laughs> now, if you've ever heard to me colloquially refer as witch time, that is the move where Bandit and does a flip like that, and freezes in time. But that's going to clash, because this game is amazing. This this game was play-tested, and was great. Everyone loved it. Renai, the villager main, he can't he can't play because of a non disclosure agreement, but uh, I'm sure he agrees with the balance decision. Egg's going to be ledge trapping the Bayonetta player here. He has no idea how to get around it. Tolu is fishing for this down throw that could have got it right there on the witch time, but we're fine. He's really just pestering him, or I guess or to make a bad pun, he's egging him on, but... As Smash is going to do it. This is wild, the, the Wild West of matchups. Anything goes. One fair could do it from Banjo, or it just could be a random F Smash he throws out at no discretion. Would you look at that? But every time he does do that, Bayo can get good combos. The Wonder Wings, he's really doing them. Especially since this is his last stock, he's not going to get many more of those. This might be a potential SD from Tolu. Ah, and that's going to be the next game. But we are looking at two potential outcomes. It's either 6-3 FCHS or 5-4 Westminster. We still win regardless. But it'd be nice to end on a better record. Either way, I have exhausted all dialogue I could possibly make on this match, so we'll just watch the final match in silence.
I turned the webcam off, it's still in the same All right. All right, so that was Christian Wright commentating for you for a little while. Uh, now we've got the last match of the, or the last game of the day in our um, number one team's matchup against Westminster. Uh, and this is uh, Tolu for uh, FCHS and Lawrence Marks for Westminster. Tolu on the banjo, Lawrence on the bayo. Um, and we're going to see how it goes. Tolu's uh, using that Wonder Wing to uh, try to read the landing and the rolls of uh, Bayonetta. Yeah, and he gets five of those per stock, so he needs to conserve them a little bit better probably to, to come out on top in this match. And there we go. That's a good way to come out on top with a side smash uh, to take that stock. And Bayo just says, I'm going to pick up your grenade and throw it back at you. With the forward air. And he's trying to really space out that forward air, and it almost cost him his stock. And now he's trying to mix up his recovery using the B up and then the side B Wonder Wing uh, in different order. Uh, this, this game is turning out a lot better for Tolu than the previous one. Bayonetta staying at the ledge, looking for something, not sure what. And that platform's going to carry Banjo out a little bit, which he did not want. Oh. And Bayo's going to read that Wonder Wing pretty easily. Ooh, that could have been real bad. All right, Tolu with a little bit of rage at 149%. Ooh, and that last, uh, that third stock finally being taken by, by Lawrence, uh, and he's trying to make up that percentage difference right now with a pretty good combo. Gets him up to 47, and out of shield uh, option with the neutral air. And that forward air is going to connect. Not enough to kill. And that will do it. Very good. Pretty good percent lead for Tolu on the Banjo-Kazooie. And Bayo has something to say about that. That forward air keeps connecting pretty well. Good Wonder Wing there. And a uncharacteristic SD from Lawrence. Haven't seen that happen to him yet today. Uh, that is going to be a, a final score of 6-3 uh, to three in favor of uh, Fayette County. Congrats to Fayette County High School. Congrats to uh, Christian, BJ, and Tolu uh, on uh, their... Uh, six points uh, and we uh, we did play all those because the points do matter for for tiebreakers and things like that when it comes to seeding for playoffs uh, and so uh, hopefully we um, uh, depending on how some other matches shake out we might be in first place or we might be staying in second place uh, either way in a great position uh, for our playoffs which are going to begin uh, Monday on the uh, 29th after our holiday break and next week is Thanksgiving and so we will be competing on uh, Monday Wednesday and Friday hopefully uh, in the round of 64 32 and 16 respectively uh, obviously if we lose in the first round then we are out in the first round but uh, we are confident uh, that won't happen and so we expect to be playing Monday Wednesday Friday of uh, the week after next beginning on the 29th so please uh, tune in uh, to that competition we're really excited really proud of our players this year uh, thank you for tuning in uh and my name is will cannon i'm the coach and uh thank you very much uh, like subscribe comment all those things we appreciate it very much